Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to teach you all about vault keys, how to make them, how to use them, and why you want to do so. So, vault keys. In vaults, there are hidden treasure rooms that can be found in little sneaky places off of each room in the vault. Now, they're not going to spawn all the time. They're fairly rare, especially in uh, lower rarity vaults. In high rarity vaults, you find them much more frequently. But this is where all of the good loot is. This is where all of the best loot, apart from boss loot, which is also very good, but treasure rooms have all of the fantastic loot uh, in, in the vaults. Everything else is, is, is pale in comparison. So you definitely want to get a, be getting some keys and getting into some treasure rooms as early as you can. Although getting higher vault levels and higher looter levels will also allow you to get better uh, better loot from the treasure rooms. So balancing when you do the vault, uh, the treasure rooms, uh, what rarity vault you do them in, etc., etc., is is uh, definitely important too. But here we're just going to show you the basics. Firstly, you're going to need a few things. You are going to need a key anvil, which is quite easy to make. It's just an anvil surrounded by netherite. You'll probably find plenty of netherite in some of your first few vaults. Um, so that hopefully shouldn't be a problem. Once you've got your key anvil, that never breaks, so you're good to go forever. Now, <clears throat> there are 10 keys, one for each of the different gems, and there are nine gems and one opal, which is you know slightly confusing. But yeah, we have 10 different gems, um, and essentially you'll be getting key pieces from vaults. You can find them in any of the chests in any of the vaults. Um, higher rarities, more frequent. And the, you combine the key pieces with a netherite cluster. Netherite cluster is as shown. Here we go. One wither skull and four netherite for the cluster there. So in terms of making a key, you got to get your netherite cluster. And then once you've done that, you can create a blank key as shown here. Now a blank key does nothing. You'll need to combine this with a gem cluster to be able to do something with this. Now you now you got a blank key. You want to make it a specific key. Now each door that you find for a treasure room can be one of any of the 10 colors. If you hover over and look, you see in the top it says yellow shulker box. You can clearly see what door it is you're looking at by looking at that top little uh, box there. Because uh, there are some that are similar colors, you know, Wutadai and Gorgonite both look quite similar. So just having a look at the door and seeing what it says in the middle will tell you what key you need to use. Now, to make a key, you'll need to make a cluster. For some reason, the JEI doesn't want to tell me how to make that. Uh, but you basically just need to combine a blank key with a gem cluster. So let's have a look at making a gem cluster with B Beniatite. Now, Beniatite um, uses a gas tier and four Beniatite. There's different, uh, different materials will be required for different gem clusters. Uh, as an example, Rhenium will be using uh, a diamond block. I think there's some that use nether stars, etc. So we're going to make ourselves a cluster here. So we get our Beniatite in there. We make our cluster. And we're also going to make our blank key here. Probably doing this the slower way. There we go. Now we've got our blank key in our cut cluster. I was going to say our custard. We pop it in here. It doesn't cost any levels or anything. Really nice and simple. We now have a Beniatite key. Beniatite key, we got multiple of those. Uh, and I basically, when I go to a vault and I'm intending to do a treasure run, uh, treasure room run specifically, I will bring all my keys and put them in a specific chest. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, man, that's essentially how keys work. I don't want to show you a treasure room because I want you to experience that yourself for the first time. Treasure rooms are really fun. There's five chests in a treasure room. Once you've opened the door, get in there, open the chests, and, uh, and see what amazing loot awaits you. Guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you have an awesome day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. And I do go live on my Twitch channel every day except Monday and Friday at 1 o'clock UK time. It would be great to see some of you guys there. That's twitch.tv forward slash some nutsguy. Regardless, I hope you have a good one. Take care.